Woodbridge River Otters. It's Mrs. Skaggs. I'm so happy to see you and I've missed you all so much. So I'm hoping that you have all missed reading out loud and hopefully you've missed me reading to you. So um, with the help of Mrs. Alberg, who's a wonderful teacher that knows a lot of technology and Mrs. Skaggs does not, she's helping me um, read to you. So I'm going to read our first story this year, and hopefully there'll be many more. This is called Teach Us, Amelia Bedelia, and we all love Amelia Bedelia, right? So let's see if you had to be taught by Amelia Bedelia what you would think, okay? So this is by Peggy Parrish, and um, it's Teach Us, Amelia Bedelia. All right, here we go. The telephone was ringing. I'm coming, I'm coming, said Amelia Bedelia. She answered the telephone. Mrs. Rogers, she said, where are you? I'm at the airport in Pinewood, said Mrs. Rogers. You didn't tell me you were going away, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm not, said Mrs. Rogers. I'm meeting the new teacher, but her plane is late. That's too bad, said Amelia Bedelia. The telephone at the school is out of order. Mrs. Rogers went on. Please go to Mr. Carter's office at the school. Tell him what I said. I'll go right now, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got her things. She walked to school. Where is Mr. Carter's office, she asked. That first door, said a child. Amelia Bedelia walked in. Mrs. Rogers tried to call you, she said, but your telephone is out of order. I know, said Mr. Carter, but thank goodness you're here. The children are going wild. Miss Lane left a list for today. I'll take you to the room. He handed Amelia Bedelia the list. Oh no, I think there's going to be some problems. Follow me, he said. They went down the hall. Mr. Carter opened a door. Children were all over the place. Can you imagine that? That would never happen at Woodbridge, would it? So children were all over the place. All right, said Mr. Carter. Quiet, this is your new teacher. Me? Teach, said Amelia Bedelia. But Mr. Carter was gone. Oh, no. She looked at the children. They looked at her. I'm Amelia Bedelia, she said. The children giggled. You're nice, said Amelia Bedelia. I do like happy children, but we have a lot to do. She held up the list. We must do just what this says, she said. Now what's first? Amelia Bedelia read, call the roll. She looked puzzled. Call the roll? What roll, she said. Does anybody have a roll? I have, said Peter. Do get it, said Amelia Bedelia. Peter opened his lunchbox. Here it is, he said. Oh, I think that's the different kind of roll, huh? Now I have to call it, said Amelia Bedelia. So the, the roll's on the floor and she's calling it. Roll, hey, roll. All right, that takes care of that. The children roared. I bet you you'd all be laughing at Amelia Bedelia too. Amelia Bedelia read her list. For goodness sake, she said, listen to this. Sing a song. I never was much of a, a, of a hand at singing. But it says, sing a song. So I'll sing. And she did. More, more, shouted the children. No, said Amelia Bedelia. It said a song. I did just that. Ah, said the children, right? Because Amelia Bedelia says, does exactly what she's supposed to. Now it's reading time, said Amelia Bedelia. I know about that. I read my cookbook. It tells me just what to do. She held up a book. She said, is this the right one? Yes, said Amanda. Amelia Bedelia opened the book. I declare, she said, this is a good one. Are you ready? Yes, said the children. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. It says, run, run, run. The children just sat. Amelia Bedelia clapped her hands. Run, she said. Run, 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 Amelia Bedelia, run. 
The children ran after her, around the room, through the halls, around the block they ran. Finally, they ran back into the room. Oh my, I bet you you like that. You get a little P.E. with this book. Huh? Amelia Bedelia plopped on her chair. That takes care of run, 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 she said. Your book plum tired me out. Let's see what's next. I hope we don't have to run to do it. She looked at the list. She said, it's science time. Each of you should plant a bowl. Do you know about that? Yes, said Tim, we brought our pots. Where are the bulbs, said Amelia Bedelia. In the top closet, said Rebecca. Miss Lane said so. Amelia Bedelia looked and looked. Nothing here, but some dried up onions, she said. Oh my, she was looking, I bet, for light bulbs to plant. Do you plant light bulbs? No, that Amelia Bedelia. Of course, the teacher wanted her to plant onion bulbs. You all go outside, put some soil in your pots. I'll go buy some bulbs. Amelia Bedelia went to the store. She hurried back. The children were waiting. Here's a bulb for you. And you, said Amelia Bedelia, she gave everybody a bulb. Look at, she gave them light bulbs. Oh, Amelia Bedelia. The children looked surprised. Then they started giggling. But they planted those bulbs. They put the pots on the windowsill. Those do look right pretty, said Amelia Bedelia. And I learned something new. I didn't know you could plant bulbs. And can you? No, don't do that for a science lesson. Suddenly a bell rang. What's that for, said Amelia Bedelia. Free time, yelled the children. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. The children ran outside. Amelia Bedelia sat down to rest. Oh my, she's had a day. Then free time ended. Back came the children. It's quiet time now, said Amelia Bedelia. You're supposed to read stories. Each child chose a book. All was quiet. Oh, I love that time. I hope you do too. Why aren't you reading, said Amelia Bedelia. We are, said Ed. I don't hear you, said Amelia Bedelia. The children looked at Amelia Bedelia. They looked at each other and Amelia Bedelia heard them. All right, my, I'll be glad when quiet time is over, she said, my ears hurt. They're all reading their books out loud all at the same time. Jeff said, art comes next. That's fun. Amelia Bedelia looked at her list. You're right, she said. You must paint pictures now. The children got sheets of art paper. What are you doing, said Amelia Bedelia. We're going to paint pictures, said Bud. But how can you, said Amelia Bedelia. There's no picture there to paint. We'll make pictures, said Mary. Oh no, said Amelia Bedelia. This says to paint pictures. You can't paint a picture without a picture to paint. Better find one for yourselves. That's not true, is it? The children ran around the room. Not a picture was left on the wall, but all the children were painting. Soon, the pictures were back on the wall. They sure look different, said Steve. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. Mr. Carter will be surprised. The children shook their heads. He sure will, said Janet. So they took all the pictures down and put different things on them in artwork. So if you were to take my George Washington down in the library and add some artwork, probably people would put mustaches on him and beards and all kinds of stuff. Huh? So that's not the way they're supposed to do art. What's next, said Jamie. Our play, said Rebecca. We have to practice our play. Practice play, said Amelia Bedelia. You mean children have to practice play? She means a different kind of play. School sure has changed since I went. All right, out you go. But Amelia Bedelia said the children. No buts, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's go, start playing. Oh, you guys would like that, I'm sure. Practice that jumping rope some more, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do better than that. Show us, said Janet. And Amelia Bedelia did. I can run faster than that, said Amelia Bedelia. Show us, said Steve. 
So Amelia Bedelia did. That's fine, she said. You've practiced long enough. Let's go inside. Let me see what's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Here are some problems for you. Yuck, said the children. Ginny, get your apples, said Amelia Bedelia. What apples, said Ginny. Amelia Bedelia looked puzzled. She said, but it says Ginny has four apples. Paul takes away two. Oops, said Amelia Bedelia. I don't think I was supposed to tell that part. She read the other problems. They all have apples in them, she said. Does anybody have apples? The children shook their heads. Then Amelia Bedelia had an idea. Let's go to my house, she said. We have lots of apples. Yes, shouted the children. We better leave a note, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the blackboard and wrote, we are at the Rogers house. Then off they went to the Rogers backyard. Amelia Bedelia got the apples. She called some children. There is a problem for each of you, she said. You all have apples. Somebody is going to try to take some away. Are you going to let them? No, shouted the children. Amelia Bedelia went to the other children. You are supposed to take away some of their apples, she said. She told each child whom to take from. Can you do that, she said. Sure, said the children. All right, everybody, said Amelia Bedelia, go. Children started after each other. They ran all over the yard. Amelia Bedelia turned and went into the kitchen. She put some of this and a lot of that into a big pot. She put the pot on the stove. There, she said, I'll surprise them. Amelia Bedelia started out and then Mr. Rogers started in. What is all of this, said Mr. Rogers. What are those children doing? Math, said Amelia Bedelia. Math, said Mr. Rogers. Come see, said Amelia Bedelia. They went out. That's not fair, Steve, yelled Janet. You hid your apples. I can't take any. That's not fair, Judy, shouted Andy. You took away all my apples. What in tarnation are they doing, said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia read him the problems. That sounds like fun. I'm going to help them, he said. He joined the children. Now that does beat all, said Amelia Bedelia. She went inside. Later she called, everybody come. All apples are on the table. Apples came from everywhere. Amelia Bedelia put a stick in each one. Then she dipped them in a pot. Taffy apples, or like caramel apples. I bet you, you guys like those. Everybody shouted. Right, said Amelia Bedelia. Take one and go home. School is out. The children grabbed apples. They crowded around Amelia Bedelia. Please, please teach us again, each one said. Amelia Bedelia said nothing. She looked at her kitchen and shook her head. Mrs. Rogers walked in. Someone was with her. What happened, she said. Where are the children? Home, said Amelia Bedelia. Home, said Mrs. Rogers. But it's not time. It was for me, said Amelia Bedelia. This is Miss Reed, said Mrs. Rogers. She is the new teacher. She came to get the children. Then she will have to find them, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm plumb tired out. But, but, said Miss Reed, more taffy apples called Mr. Rogers. Taffy apples, said Mrs. Rogers. Come on, Miss Reed. Amelia Bedelia put the taffy apples on the table. They all sat down and ate. I'll let you teach anytime, said Miss Reed. If you will make taffy apples, be glad to, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love children.